you some dog adoption drama has people lighting up a local shelter's Facebook and a woman tells CBS 6 her dog went missing and is now legally in another family's hands. We sent our senior reporter Wayne Colville to investigate. I know my dog. I've, I've had her for 10 years. She's my baby. Yvonne Parrish was heartbroken when she came home and discovered Ruby was gone. My son let her out about 4 o'clock. Ruby was a house dog and went outside, never left the yard. No collar, no chip. That was May 15th. Yvonne spent weeks searching social media and animal shelter websites. Then Monday. Yesterday I got a text at work from my daughter saying you got to look at this picture. I found Ruby. Goochland County Animal Control says this dog was picked up by a local resident and dropped off at the animal shelter. After 17 days, the dog was legally adopted. That was almost one month ago. Yvonne wants animal control to reach out to the family to see if it's Ruby. Since they've only had the dog a month, would they let me buy the dog back? Um, give him money to adopt another dog. Just, I want my dog back. Ruby didn't have a collar or a chip. And while the adoption is legal. It's a hard situation to deal with. It's like a no win situation. Dog advocates say. I guess what we can learn from this is one, you know, microchipping is certainly a good option for all families. Goochland Animal Control is reaching out to the new family, hoping to be the liaison between them and Yvonne. And many are hopeful for a reunion. My personal experience, we have a wonderful clientele here, is that if they look like they're a happy, well-maintained, healthy animal that was in a good home, I would think most good people would return that pet to that owner. In Goochland County, Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News.